Hey guys, so today I thought we should talk about operating systems and how they update. So I think it's fair to say most consumer operating systems nowadays, Mac OS, iOS, uh, even Windows, they auto update. Um, browsers also auto update, I think it's fair to say. Um, I think another term for it is called evergreen, so you know, they're always just kept up to date, which is great. But now let's talk about the Linux ecosystem. Um, I installed Ubuntu on my mother-in-law's machine and I installed the very latest beta 18 version. And to my surprise, actually, I, it didn't look like Ubuntu has come as far as I'd like it to have come over the, you know, I haven't touched it for like five years. Um, I know things have changed with the desktop, I think. But it looked quite similar to me, but the important things like how it logs in and how it keeps up to date was not, wasn't that impressive. So as far as I know, um, I did a, have a look there for, in, for the Reddit that I posted. As far as I know, it doesn't auto update. What's up with that? And now for me, Arch Linux, you know, I'm always updating. It's Arch Linux life, right? Uh, Pac-Man SYU is, is life. But to be honest, I, I, I kind of tire out of it. But at the same time, I'm used to doing it. What I really don't like doing on my other devices, like I'm running a Pi here, I don't like, and I have a Pi over there, I don't like SSHing into my Pi and updating and my Arch Linux ARM distribution. It's, it's a real pain. Um, on, on the server side stuff, I guess I've been running Debian Stable, and the cool thing about Debian Stable, I guess, is that the updates are few and far between, and uh, the updates are usually security related things. There is a thing called unattended upgrades, which I sh probably should be using, but right now I just HHH into it. At work, when it comes to upgrades, we probably just roll out the whole image, you know what I mean? Like, uh, we don't bother SSHing in and upgrading the machine. We sort of roll out a new image with the updated software. Um, I've been using in the past something called Core OS, uh, which, oh, sorry. Core OS, which, which basically reboots, it, it keeps itself up to date and reboots and then runs Docker images. But I don't, I don't really like this operating system very much because the minimalistic, I hate going into this thing called the toolbox to do your changes, then going out and then running system CTL. Anyway, Core OS is a bit of a disappointment, but I think it keeps up to date. I haven't actually been following that much, but it, Annoyingly, it just reboots your machine and, uh, well, I guess there's no really, I mean, I'm not, for this stuff, it's not like a complicated load balancer thing. So I guess for my own personal stuff, it's it's fine. Um, I wanted to mention that Web Converger, my, the distribution that I came up with and develop, that keeps up to date automatically, like a consumer operating system as long as the user actually installs it on a read white medium, because a lot of people just flash it to a USB stick and it's kind of read only and it could obviously not ever be updated in that fashion. Um, this upgrade thing works using Git and I in GitHub it distributes it. So that's good. That's good. Um, I guess finally on this topic of updating stuff, I mean, ideally, we just don't need to care about these sort of things because, you know, who cares if Linux gets updated and all that sort of stuff? And this is one of the joys for me with using serverless is that all that, that nonsense is, is abstracted away from me. I mean, go, going back to updating my Arch Linux machine, it's a kind of painful when every time I know when I'm updating Linux, which is pretty damn often, I know that I need to reboot the machine because the minute you update Linux, um, the minute there's going to be some sort of module mismatch so that new mo new modules that you might need down the road like a USB thing driver, if you plug that in after upgrading your Linux thing, it generally just doesn't work. You have to reboot. I, I think there was some project in the past, I can't remember what it was, that sort of did some 
modules splicing so you didn't have to reboot your, your Linux machine, but still, still it's a bit rather unimpressive thing. I mean, I don't know, what would the what would the, be the best user experience be? I mean, I need to know what's being updated, I think. So I guess the user experience for Arch Linux is, is okay. But as I mentioned, a consumer system should just automatically update. You know what I mean? It's just, and, and that and that is the difference I think between a good a good consumer user experience and a bad user experience. It's it's just a bit sad that a bunch of aren't quite there yet. All right, guys, that's my thought. Um, see you around. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Uh, cheers.